Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella, and today is episode 112, I think. <laughs> I always forget to look. Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, it's been a little bit, um, then when I, oh, what am I trying to say? Focus. It's been a little while since I made a No Catch Your Name episode. I think a little over a week, but that's just because, you know, life happens. My mom had a uh, surgery Monday, like this past, this past Monday, on her shoulder. She had to get, um, rotator cuff surgery or whatever <laughs> I don't know what it's called but she had ripped all the muscle from the bone I guess I don't know I don't know she explained it to me and I can't remember point is they had to go in they had five little incisions where they did that laparoscopic thing with all the arms <laughs> and did her surgery on her shoulder they fixed it everything's good now she's healing <laughs> so she's got this big stabilizer on her arm that she has to wear for three months so I've been you know dealing with that plus also, she had a mammogram recently, and they called her back on it, and she has to go in next week to get some ultrasounds and stuff done, so that's got me kind of distracted and freaked out a little bit. So please, if you are a praying person or a kind vibes person, whatever you believe in, send them all towards my mom uh, this next week or two so that we can hopefully get good news back about her ultrasounds and all that stuff, and also that she heals quickly from her arm because she's you know she's gonna be laid up for three months from that and potentially longer if anything happens in this general area she also has a pacemaker and defibrillator built into her chest so <laughs> that complicates things a lot she has a lot of heart problems and stuff so it's just I see a lot of stuff that's why I've been so distracted <laughs> but yes I am going to be making my video probably later today but it will come out it may come out the same day as this one but for the Christmas in July fairies thing. Um, I it went way over my head and out the window when it first started because everybody was. I was getting messages and I was getting added to a group and then I was an admin of the group and I didn't even know what was going on. Everybody's talking about it and I hadn't watched anybody's videos because of my whole mom situation. So I got people to send me the videos and Madonna explained it to me in a comment. So I understand now what it is <laughs> and I do want to participate in it. I just have to get my life together enough to record the video, get it edited and uploaded. And hopefully I'm going to do that today. Today is Saturday, June the 6th. Devin is at work. He started his new shift last Tuesday. I think last Tuesday. So he works two days, is off two days, works three days, is off three days, etc. On and on and on. So He's working Saturday, Sunday, Monday, but he's going to be off next Saturday, Sunday, Monday, so that's going to be great. Anyways, let's get into the crochet stuff. <laughs> uh, I got some finished objects. I got two to show you, and one I'll have to show a picture because it's already been given to my nephew. But um, I need to get the book. Hold on a second. Okay, my first uh, finished object I was working on in my last What You Working On Wednesday video, I think. Yeah, because it was during the... Um, no, it wasn't the last one. It was the one before that, uh, two weeks ago. <laughs> it was when they were going to do the rocket launch uh, SpaceX thing, and then it got canceled to that Saturday, and then they did do it. But I was working on the little ladybug, and here he is. <laughs> I had to get him all finished. His antennas are all curly, but that's okay. I think he turned out super cute. I still think it looks like a scrubby. Like, it would be cute instead of putting the white hair to put one of those scrubbies and attach it. I guess sew it on there, and then you could, like, scrub your dishes with him. <laughs> I think that would be so cute. But, uh, he's cute, yeah. It's all Red Heart Super Saver scraps. It's white, black, cherry red. And I think the pink is called, is, hmm, Petal Pink, I think, is a lot, the really light pink. He's got safety eyes. And these are the safety eyes that I ordered from Amazon recently. I will have them linked below if you're interested to check them out. And the pattern is from this book that I was gifted. Got Happy Groomy. There he is. <laughs> uh, this book, a lot of people's been finding it on at Dollar Tree. I looked at my local Dollar Tree; they didn't have any. I was planning on buying them all and then using them as giveaways, but um, we didn't have any. Go figure. But um, some people's had luck with it. Some people haven't. But you can also get it off of uh, Amazon. Someone else told me somewhere else. It's not on thrift books, at least last time I looked, but you can find it here and there. I'll link it from Amazon below, and I'm going to point out, I've, I've pointed it out before, but anytime I link anything from Amazon, they are affiliate links, which means I get a little kickback if you purchase something, but it doesn't come out of your pocket, it comes out of Amazon's pocket. So you pay the same amount you would for anything, it's just if you use my link, I earn a little tiny commission uh, for it. But I always say that in my videos when I remember to, but... Um, I just want to say that again so that, you know, it's 
out in the open. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, transparent. There you go. But yeah, so he turned out super cute. I can't wait to make more from this book. Um, Carrie from Yarn Joy, she just made the ostrich from this book. I seen it. I watched her episode last night while crocheting, I think. And uh, a couple other people have gotten this. So I want to make the turtle and the bird <laughs> and the bee. <laughs> I want to make a bunch of them. But you'll probably be seeing this book a lot more in the future because I loved this. He was super quick. He's made... Um, his body is all one piece. The spots and the cheeks in the book are felt, but I didn't have any felt for um, those colors. So I used um, just crochet. I think I made uh, single crochet six and a magic ring for the spots. And for his cheeks, I did four single crochets. And then his head is separate. So you have to make them separate and then sew them on. But I think it turned out super cute. And I kind of want to make some more. You want to play with this? I'm almost all done with it now. I can't because if I play with it, it's pretty, but I'll get it all to read. And I'll That's okay because Mama will wash it. You can go set it on your bed, on the shelf on your bed. You want to do that? That can be where he lives. Well, where do you live on the They do. But that one can live in your room. Okay, so my next finished object, I actually had it finished two weeks ago, and I completely forgot to tell you guys. <laughs> like, I had it finished, and I put it on my little place where I normally put stuff where I want to show it to you guys, and it just got buried, and I forgot. What? I want some money. More? <laughs> You're going to turn into a Pringle. All right. Okay, I'm back again. Sorry. Anyways, the finished object I had done, and I forgot about it, and... I like it. I think it's pretty, and I love the yarn because it's yarn Devin bought me for my birthday. <sighs> Premier Puzzle. I can't remember the name of the yarn, and I don't have the ball bands. <laughs> but it came out big. It's too big for me. It's a vest. And um, even though it's pretty, I probably won't keep it because it's too big for me. But that's okay. I can just give it to someone. Um, it's called the Claire Tender Vest by Kristen Amadal. This is the piece that would go on your back and this is the part that would hang down. I'm not going to try it on because I don't like the way it looks on me. But uh, I think it's really pretty. The the two sides flare so that when they hang they're kind of squiggly and drapey. <laughs> I'm not good with words. It is pretty though. I like it and it was a lot of fun to make. I just um, I don't like it because it's too big on me. It's real baggy and um, I would like to make it shorter and I guess the way I could do that is to take out probably one of these repeats on each side and it would make it smaller the back part and then it would be perfect but I don't feel like ripping all this out and redoing it so I'm probably just gonna weave in the ends because they're not <laughs> and I'll just give it to someone my mom might like it because she likes green but I did get it done and I completely forgot to share it with you guys and I got this done at least two weeks ago because I did a what you're working on Wednesday with it and then that weekend after that I finished it and it just got buried and forgotten but now I showed it to you so it's all good okay what else other finished object is I don't have I give it to my nephew already and he loves it my sister sent me a picture of him going to sleep with it that night in his bed and it was really cute but uh it is called the foxy fnaf which stands for five nights at freddy by a word I can't really say let's see it's old Olski Red. <laughs> That's probably not right. But she, my sister actually gave me the money uh, for me to make the patterns and she bought the pattern also. It was $6 and it came with all four of the characters. And it's from a video game, I think, or a TV show. I'm not sure because I don't know what it is really good. Um, but my nephew likes it so she wanted me to make him those. So I made him the fox, which I'll pop up right here. Um, it's a really cute little pattern. It worked up super fast and uh, I enjoyed making it. And then I started working on the another one of the little characters. So this is my whip. <laughs> um, I'll link that below if you're interested in buying the pattern, though, from Etsy. I got it from Etsy. Did I always say that? And it was $6 for all four of the little characters. And I don't know if there's more than four. But I started making the bear, which his name is Freddy. And he came out tiny because I used worsted weight yarn, which is what it 
it calls for. Actually, the pattern calls for size 3 yarn and a really tiny hook, but I boosted it up to worsted weight yarn and a slightly larger hook, an elf hook, um, because that's what I always have on hand and I enjoy using. But this is the bear. <laughs> He's, his body is really similar, but his head is tiny. His facial features will not fit on his head. So what I'm going to do is because some Red Heart yarns are thinner than others, and this brown is one of them. This is Cafe Latte, and it's just a little bit thinner than the regular worsted weight Red Heart. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull back his head to the increase rows, the last one, and then I'm going to add like two more increase rows to make his head wider and then finish the pattern and then I just have to add two more decreases at the end and it'll make his head just a little bit bigger so that his facial features will fit on there. But he is all done other than that. I just have to fix his head. I got all his little pieces done. I was on a row. I woke up early one morning because now we all get up early anyways. Devin gets up at five now and I get up with Devin, kiss him goodbye and all that stuff. And then I either stay up and just mess around by myself or I sometimes go back to bed because <laughs> I'm tired. But uh, this day I stayed up, so I had a, a good two and a half hours before Jesse woke up to um, work on this little guy. So I got all, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna finish him today and start on the other one. And then I started trying to put the, the body parts on the head and I realized, <laughs> okay, those are his eyes. And then he has a muzzle. <laughs> his head's like completely overtaken. So I just gotta rip back um the head and make it bigger or i might just have to find a different brown i don't have any browns other than red heart though i have a darker brown from red heart which is um i can't remember what it's, i think it's coffee and it is thicker than this cafe latte so i might have to just start over <laughs> and i could go ahead and finish make this just like a regular bear make a little regular bear features and um because this bear also has a little top hat on so his, his head would be completely gone behind his facial features. So I need a little bit of his head to stick out. So, you know, he doesn't look weird. So I might just make this a regular bear and start all over <laughs> and use the darker brown because the darker brown red heart is thicker like it's supposed to be. Uh, this uh, Cafe Latte is more like a three because it's so thin. And I don't know why some red hearts like that. I know their heather gray is really thin also. I have a bunch of it and I rarely use it because I normally use worsted weight yarn. So I only use that heather gray for like little applique pieces like this. Um, for decoration but yeah so I don't know if I want to start him all the way over with the bigger yarn or if I just because he's gonna be smaller than the rest of the characters because the other one I know there's a duck and the red heart uh, bright yellow that I'm gonna use for him is a fat uh, number five what's the other one a rabbit maybe I can't remember <laughs> but um, I think I just might start all the way over because I feel like his body is a lot smaller than the other ones. And I don't want him to be tiny. I don't know if his character is smaller than the other characters. I guess I need to look up something about it to see. But I'm going to fix it either way. And I'll show you next week. <laughs> Hopefully. If nothing else crazy happens. But yeah. So I'm going to stick that back in my old project bag I made. This is the first zipper bag I ever made. Which I love it, but the top is messed up. The fabric is coming away from the zipper. And it's just because when I first made this, I was just learning how to sew, so I had no idea what I was doing. But I, I love it, and I use it. And I plan on making these kind of bags for my shop when I have the time. I, ha I want to make these kinds for my shop, and I found a tote bag. It's a little nut in here that I want to make for the shop, and I just I don't have the time. I'm sewing now, but I'm just making the regular bags. All right, my last whip. <laughs> Keep going, uh, distracted. My last whip was shown in the last What You're Working On Wednesday, this past Wednesday. And it is a baby blanket that I'm making because it's cute. I bought the yarn. I think I don't have its broadband either. <laughs> I bought the yarn um, last week sometime from Hobby Lobby. I just wanted some baby yarn because I don't really keep stuff like that on hand. I mostly have worsted weight yarns on hand. And every now and then people will gift me random baby yarns or chunky yarns or, you know, just random yarns. Um, the reason I always keep just regular worsted weight yarn on hand is because I'm a amigurumi maker and a decoration maker. And like Heidi Yates is one of my favorite pattern designers and all her decorations are made with worsted weight yarn, usually Red Heart. So that's why when I first got back into big time crocheting when I was pregnant with my son, I just started hoarding that kind of yarn. And that's why I have so much on hand. I have two bookshelves of it in my bedroom and over here I have like a fourth of a bookshelf of more of it. So, because I've worked it down a lot. But all my cool yarns are the ones that's been give it, gifted to me or bought for me from other people. 
But yeah, anyways, back to this. The blanket is called the Adeline Baby Blanket, and it's a free pattern on Ravelry from Brat and Scrappy. I'll link that below. They also have an Etsy shop, but I don't know if this pattern's on there. But I printed it out, and I already got one whole ball. I know it's Lime Brand Ice Cream. I think it's called Lemon Swirl. I thought this was a cute gender neutral color. It is really blue, but I'm not one of those people who associates blue with boys and pink with girls. I think anybody can like any color. And, uh, you know, it doesn't matter to me. But I got a lot of it done since um, Wednesday. I would have more of it done, but uh, every time I sit down to crochet, something happens. <laughs> and I have to get back up and do something. But I think this is such a cute pattern. Let's see here. I have one, two, three, four, five, six seven repeats done and i need to do 11 so i got about four more repeats to do before i do the border so i think it's going to be a good little size baby blanket and the border is going to add a probably like three inches on each side i'll measure it completely when i um get it all the way done but it's made uh with a number three weight yarn that's what the pattern called for that's why i wanted to go get some ice cream yarn i did start the second ball <laughs> and i like to wind mine into balls like this because I like the way they unravel better they don't get they never get tangled up in themselves because they're you know it's one strand that's why I don't like working with cakes because the more you use a cake the more it like flops in on itself and it gets all tangled so I usually just hand wind on myself and then I have my um yarn bowls that I was gifted uh last year one for my birthday and one for my potiversary <laughs> um I use them, you know, to help me guide it. And if I don't have my yarn ball, bowls with me, I just throw it in the floor and let it roll around all over the floor. Cause I don't have pets and I don't have a little tiny kid. So I can do that. But even when Jesse was little, I did that and he didn't really mess with it that much. And I would give him a random ball of his own yarn to play with. That was a car, just went rolling through the house. <laughs> okay, sorry, this is a real distracted video. I've been real distracted lately. My mind's just, you know, there's just a lot going on in the world and in my personal life. But anyways, back to this blanket. I think it's beautiful. I love it. I can't wait to finish it. <laughs> and it'll probably be done before the next uh, No Catch Your Name episode also because uh, I've been working on it like crazy. It's been my favorite project for a while. Try to get back in this bag pattern. It's living in a bag that I won from the yarn closet um, back when she first started making videos. Oh, the hook. Uh, I was her 100th subscriber. So she sent me a little package and this bag was in it. It's so cute. Of this back <laughs> but it's living there while it fits in there i don't know if it's gonna fit in there once i get the border yarn attached but we will try all right i got a couple more things i wanted to share with you some of them are acquisitions a couple happy mail and then this one that i want to show you is it's a finished object that i finished a while ago and it's from another book let me grab that okay it's from this book that i picked up at my local thrift store and you can also find it sometimes on Amazon, sometimes on thrift books. It just depends on if people are selling them. I will link either of them below if I can find them on either of those platforms. <sighs> but it's uh, called Crochet for Today. And this is the pattern. It's the chicken. I made it. Let me show you. I made it um, like a month ago. I don't know. Two months ago. And it was really cute. And I finally got around to putting it all together. So uh, what you need is you need a two liter soda bottle. And um, then you cut the middle section of it out and you use the top part and the bottom parts to make a container. So I finally did that. So now the chicken, you know, it's hard. <laughs> and uh, it's on a container. So the top part of the soda is in the top part of the chicken. And then the bottom part is in the nest. And what I did is I just went around where I cut the bottle because it's kind of sharp. I just outlined it in hot glue and then kind of folded it over and held it there until it dried. And I did the same thing here so that uh, the sharp part would be hot glued over and then the yarn would be over it so the yarn won't snag anyways because the hot glue is in between the two layers and then the pieces are stuck on there so now I can use it as a container to put something in Devin said I should crochet some eggs and put in there but I'm thinking about getting some candies or something to put in there I don't know but right now I got it sitting in our living room because <laughs> so I think it's cute I really enjoy this I kind of want to make another one of these but like a brown chicken maybe we shall see. Okay, now for some acquisitions. Just because they're fun. I did get this um, little package of cards from Summer. She sent me and Jessie both a birthday card. So here's Jessie's. Oh, I was itching. And then here's what she sent me. 
she also sent some stickers so these ones are the ones i claimed for myself <laughs> puppy dogs and jesse had some that were i think spider-man or superhero themed i can't remember now but he's done done something with them or somewhere <laughs> but thank you so much for that summer and i also got this which is my some more labels i'm gonna open it now i got this yesterday I had ordered some labels last week and then after they came I was like man I really should have ordered two sheets so I just went back and ordered another sheet she's probably like girl why don't you just order them all there but whatever but she started she did start packaging them differently with this big card with all the instructions on it and there's my labels these ones aren't cut out I'm gonna cut these myself and then from now on all oh, these are the wrong labels I ordered the wrong ones Oh crap, I'm gonna have to figure out what to do with these ones. I just realized, I thought I ordered the fold over labels. Shoot, oh well. <laughs> okay, these may be on the bags different next time. I accidentally ordered the wrong ones, but that's okay. Um, I know it's not her fault, I'm sure I clicked on the wrong thing, but uh, cause she's awesome, she always does good. But yeah, I like her new packaging. So uh, the new labels are gonna be different. There's more labels in here though. Let's see here, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 40, there's 50 labels on here. Oh well, we'll figure it out. <laughs> that's pretty funny. But uh, yeah, so that's the mail that I got. And then I got some more yarn acquisitions. The same day that I bought the yarn for that blanket that I'm making, the Adelon blanket at Hobby Lobby, I bought two balls of this. And it's Yarn B Baby B Soft and Sleek. And it is a number four, 164 yards. I thought this was another gender neutral colorway because of the green. It's just pretty. I thought I would make something else, baby, to go with <laughs> to go with that blanket. Um, I don't know, like a, a little sweater or something. I don't know. I just been wanting to make make baby stuff. Got the fever, I guess. <laughs> but um, and then at Joanne's yesterday, we went to Joanne's. I had full intention of spending all my personal money at Joanne's on yarn, but when we got there. It was pretty much empty. There wasn't very much yarn at all. All the stuff that I wanted to get was gone. Like I wanted to get some of the other ice cream yarn. It's like the ice cream stripes or something like that. It's really pretty like stripey yarn. They didn't have the color that I wanted. And then I wanted to get some of that uh, cotton yarn that's cotton and scrubby yarn mixed together on the same ball, you know? I can't remember what it's called. I think it... I can't remember, <laughs> but it was all gone. So I was like, okay, fine. We'll just get what I, another thing that I came here for, which was solid white number three <laughs> uh, for the border of that blanket. I was gonna get, look at the yellow and blues and green and see if any go with it, but they didn't have any. So I got white. <laughs> so the border for that blanket's gonna be in solid white, but I did get a ball of that. So I was happy to at least get what I needed for the blanket. You know, I didn't get to spend all my personal money on a yarn, which is what I had planned to do. But, uh, and then the last bit of acquisition, well, here's, I got a pair of pinking shears from Amazon. I actually won a gift card from another YouTube channel that I watch about budgeting. Because, you know, I watch all kinds of videos about everything. <laughs> but I am, I'm, you know, me and Devin, really big into budgeting our money and saving for the future and all that jazz. So I needed a pair of pinking shears because there are some Christmas ornaments that I want to sew this year. And, uh, the border of them are cut with pinking shears <laughs> and I, I went to Joanne's and they were like $40 and I was like I'm not spending $40 for a pair of scissors I'm only going to use once in a blue moon <laughs> so uh when I won that that Amazon gift card it was a $10 gift card so I went online on Amazon and I found some pinking shears these were $10.99 so I was like wow I can get that for a dollar plus shipping and then when I went to check out I got a free month of prime so I, I added that and so I got these for 99 cents free shipping and then I immediately canceled the Prime <laughs> so that it wouldn't, um, you know, come out without me expecting it. So I got, an, a, hopefully, a nice pair for just a dollar. <laughs> and uh, I haven't tried them yet because I haven't had time to sew. But I am wanting to work on those Christmas ornaments soon just because I think it'd be fun to um, sew something that's not bags. And then the last acquisitions I got... I got go pee. Go pee. ...were from my local thrift store. They opened it back up. Um, recently, so me and Devin took a whole car load of donations over there from where I cleaned the whole house. Jesse's making noises. And, uh, you know, I looked around while I was there. So I did find a ball of yarn that I wanted to get. And it, it, it was a dollar. And it was peaches and cream. 
and the colorway I don't forgot. I read it earlier. Sweet pea stripes. I just thought it was real pretty. I thought it'd make cute either dishcloth or something. I don't even know. I just thought it was pretty. And then I found a yard of fabric, and it was ninety nine cents also. And it's bugs. <laughs> I just thought it was really cute. It'd be cute bags or something. I don't know. And inside that yard of fabric was this little scrap of a different print of bugs. But this little scrap, I can't really make um, anything huge out of it because it's just like a scrap. <laughs> but it is enough that I can make probably some little bags out of. And it's cute too with the bugs. So I thought I would save it and try to work with it somehow to make something. But it was rolled up in this yard and it had a rubber band around it. So I don't think the people the thrift store knew it was in there and I didn't know it was in there until I opened it at the store. And since it was in there, I went ahead and put it back in there because I, I didn't know. But I always, when I'm buying fabric from the thrift store, I always open it because if it's not a yard or cheap enough for less than a yard, I'm not gonna buy it. Like this was a dollar for a yard and I did unroll it. So I, I bought that because that's a really good price. <laughs> and uh, I just thought it was really cute with the bugs. So there may be bags in the shop soon with this or I might just make something for myself. I don't, we'll see. But that's all my acquisitions i'm pretty sure <laughs> it's been a crazy video a lot of interruptions from my son but he's four so it happens and i keep forgetting stuff so i have to get up and get stuff but yeah that's pretty much my last week and a half crochet wise <laughs> so i need to fix that bear wherever i said i'm down there i think now that i'm thinking about it i think i'll just start all over i'll just make him a darker color brown because i'm pretty sure the the coffee red heart is um thicker i'll go look at my stash that's all the browns i have is coffee and cafe latte and i have and i love this yarn brown but i love this yarn is thinner anyways it's more like a three to me i think it's real thin worsted weight but i don't know we'll see <laughs> and now uh later today or tomorrow someday i will put up my christmas in july fairies video for you guys to comment on to be entered into that giveaway and uh yeah i might try to film that but i gotta charge my phone because it just popped up and said it was dying <laughs> so i will see you guys in the next video uh check out all the links in the, des the description i am working on bags right now for the shop <laughs> i got them all right here i just sewed all the drawstring casings on so now i gotta add the labels and sew everything closed Whew, that's heavy a lot of bags are gonna be coming up in the shop let's see today's saturday probably around tuesday maybe monday but probably tuesday and I'll put out a video and a post on the Facebook group about that. So um, head over there and check that out when that happens. Go favorite the shop and you'll get notifications from it. And yeah, subscribe if you're not. Like the video. <laughs> Share it if you think someone else will like it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.